So another job with my little Echo, 05 Echo, 280,000 kilometers on it. The oxygen sensor, post catalytic, uh, just seemed to go in this big snowstorm. So just very quickly uh, replacing it. Not a very hard job. I just sort of don't like laying around in the slushy slop from the winter. But anyways, you do not have to take the driver's seat out. You just, there's a screw in the very back cup holder. That guy there, just take that out. And then lift the, lift, lift the whole console up. And there's the, just on the left there, that's the cable connector um, for the oxygen sensor, which comes up. I'll try to catch it here. Uh, can't really see it, but it's just, just pull the carpet back and there's a little, there you can see it. You can just see the light coming through there. There's a rubber grommet that fits there. The cable just feeds through. And you'll have to spray some some PB blaster or something like that on the oxygen sensor. And I've already fed the cable through. And, uh, whoops, very poor production quality here. I had to put the breaker bar on it, so it's, it's laying down there with a 3 8 adapter. And there is enough room if you're doing this with, a, with the cutout socket for the, especially for the sensors, there is enough clearance to get one on there, so in case you're wondering. So now I'm just going to unscrew it, put the new one in, feed it back up, and then it'll, I'll show you when, it, when I connect it. So there's the new one against the old one. That part number um, is just for a two inch longer cable wiring harness on it. That's the only difference between them. Just put a little bit of that uh, copper non seize on the threads before you put it in. And there it is, just snugged up, not too tight, just tight enough. I don't have a torque spec for it. But don't do it so tight that you strip the threads or break it. And there it is. I just put my hand down by the carpet, pulled the, the wiring harness up, and just plugs back in there and back together. So it's a fairly easy job. I'll let you know in the comment with the video whether it worked or not. Hopefully it did. Hopefully it helped somebody. All right. By the way, that's the tool I used. It was a Princess Auto Special. It's just, I don't know, I think it cost me 12 bucks or something. But it does the job, so you don't need an expensive tool. Uh, I'm sure this would cost you a few hundred bucks to get done in a shop. All right.